All right, guys, it is time for Who Should You Choose, the video series where I go through all of the prior videos, questions, and comments and help you with your team builder questions. So if you are new to my channel, here is how Who Should You Choose works. Anyone that comments on this video down below, I will do my next video that will come out every Monday through Friday at around 10 a.m. Eastern time. And I'll be going through about 20, 25 minutes of comments. Usually I do first come, first serve. This is where subscribing with notifications on gives you your best chance to get your comment or question read. This could range from, hey, here is my team. What's the next card I should go out and get? More importantly, I have a feeling that a lot of these questions are going to be, hey, I got these X factors. What should I go with or what should I do with these? Anything that doesn't matter about your team building questions, let them let me know and I will be happy to help out. All right. So again, the first come first serve. So you want to make sure you get your question asked. If you don't think you're going to get in there, you never know because I skip through and I try and find some higher up ones as well. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on to get your comment read. Let's have a blast. I did about 100 episodes of these last season. It's always fun to sit down, have a coffee and help you guys out with your team. So obviously, since I don't have any prior questions that we can go over today, we'll just talk about my team and uh, the thoughts on NHL so far. I've been playing the game. You guys are going to get the game very, very soon. And I'm super excited because I I just I, when the player base is up and running, it's awesome. So let's take a look at my squadron as uh, we go into launch of the game. And uh, yeah, we did some things. So I worked the market a little bit and was able to acquire all of the team builder cards required to make Mike Pekka as well as Vinny Danfus, and then Foot and Samuelson. I've got to say, Foot is probably the best card in the game outside of Mario, Gretzky, and McDavid. This thing absolutely wheels, and his zone ability is incredible. Uh, McDavid, guys, the cost is just dumb stupid, but my lord, is this card worth it. I don't even have his final tier yet, and this card just blows by anyone when you get wheels on. When you get wheels on. It's, he's the best card in the game, and I'm super happy about that because he's so, so good. Uh, we got Matthew Barzell. If you've been watching my X Factors video, uh, he is one of the best values, in my opinion. I think he's one of the best cards that you can get early on in terms of your the X Factor because 91 speed, he's not even maxed out yet. He will go up to 92. He's got a great wrist shot, and it can improve even more when you activate Applesauce. Ankle Breaker and Elite Edges, I'm not huge fans of just at their cost, but still a very, very good card. Leon Dreisaitl, I also talk about him in my uh, X Factor video. And again, go back and watch those. I've got a ton of content out already. The thing I'll say about Leon is he is 100% not worth the investment unless you get his base card untradeable. Uh, and the reason for that is even at the end, so this card would have cost like 100,000 coins or the base Leon Dreisaitl and a bunch of other you know collectibles. It's a very big investment for Leon Dreisaitl. I believe it's about 200,000 coins. And... His speed's only 88, acceleration 86, and agility 85. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to say that, like, just because you have that speed, it's not good. He's just, he doesn't have breakaway speed. Uh, if you're going to pay, like, you know, over 200K for a card, he needs to give you an advantage a little bit in that. He does shoot very well, and he does hold on to the puck you know, extremely well. And I really like his zone or his uh, synergies. So distributor and applesauce. Applesauce, I really enjoy for forwards. Wrist shot accuracy, hand eye, as well as passing uh, and stick checking is just, uh, I think that it's a very, very good combo. And when you combine it with applesauce or uh, distributor, obviously it gets him to be even that much better. Go down the lineup. I think the 85 Jack Eichel. This one, the base card has wheels. Uh, which is nasty, the superstar ability. His speed is really nice. Again, high 80s. I like his shot. As far as base cards go, this is great. Now, he's obviously going to be really expensive because he's got an X Factor. I don't think his X Factor is worth the upgrade because I there's no guarantee that he gets upgrades because he's obviously not going to play. You're going to have to rely on EA releasing event items, and I hate doing that because it's not predictable at all. So just be careful in that. I got him untradeable, though. Kucherov, uh, probably my favorite non-Adam Foot, non-McDavid card so far. This is uh, absolutely nasty. His wrist shot just seems to go in all the time. I really want his X-Factor card, but uh, it's just super expensive to go out and get, so it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a grind here. To be honest, I might sell the base card and then go buy his X-Factor card and then slowly work it up, uh, but I'll have to wait and see about that one. Crosby, uh, packed him untradeable. In my opinion, Crosby cards over the years just haven't been all that good. Uh, they, they just, they're just very, they're just very 
above average at everything, which is which is valuable. Though don't get me wrong, it's just it, he doesn't have elite faceoff rating. He's not fast. He's not big. His shot is at eighty six. Like he's just good. Um, and, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. So his X Factor card, because I got his base card, I might look into getting his X Factor card, but I have a feeling it's going to be stupidly priced because it's Sidney Crosby, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. Again, I'm only going to do that because I have his base card, and that saves me a ton of coins. Braden Point, have not liked Braden Point at all. Uh, I un I packed his X Factor card, actually, and then I packed his base card, so I was like, whatever, screw it, I'll just get him all the way up. He has wheels, but it's 10 ability points, and even though everyone is going to be so hyper-focused and thinking that the wheel synergy is great, it's only good if they have elite speed, and 88 speed, while good, is not elite. Um, I, I don't notice any breakaway speed with with Braden Point, as I do with Connor McDavid. Like When you get Connor McDavid, it, it's almost like if you're not used to it and you don't really have any other players around his speed, which I, not very many people will, it's like you go too fast. It's it's crazy. I'll have some clips of Connor McDavid coming up in another video, but my goodness, he's nuts. Braden Point, I just it can't get going. I, his shot, he doesn't score a lot for me. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I don't think the cost is it. And he's, he's smaller with no body checking, so defensively he's not very good either. Last line, we've got Austin Matthews. I took in my uh, 25 choice pack, slowly working towards upgrading him. It's going to take me a little bit because the cost is quite a bit. I'm going to probably wait for some collectibles. It's um, I, I talk about Austin Matthews in my, in my um, X Factor video. I honestly don't think he's... It's very close to being worth it or not. He's much like Leon Dreisaitl, only his shot is a little bit better. But he does have distributor as well. And this shock and awe ability, I've seen a lot of clips of it actually being really nasty. So the toe drag shooting and then the ability, the the you know the the shot that you get off of it has been pretty nasty early on. So if I get his base card at 100, percent he's going up. But this is going to be a slow grind. We'll have to wait and see. Taylor Hall, one of the best budget cards you're going to get early on in the game. This pretty much eliminates a lot of the more expensive, or even just the less expensive, left-handed winger cards that you can get. His 90 speed and wrist shot is so good. I've loved this card early on. Really, really enjoyed it, and I think that it's going to be a budget card for sure. Mitch Marner, I packed. I'm probably going to sell at launch of the game. I don't have any intention of getting Mitch Marner's card. Um, you know, it's not bad, but yeah, I'm not. I'm probably going to get rid of him. On defense, Adam Foote and Alf Samuelson are the best defensemen in the game. If you guys are working towards team builders, I would 100% recommend focusing on the Colorado or on the uh, Pacific Division or Central Division, Central Division first uh, to get Adam Foote, and then Alf Samuelson would be my next best one. His it's very hard to find good defensemen early on in the game that have a good speed and good shot, and this truculence ability with only four ability points. Anytime he bumps into somebody, he absolutely demolishes them. Once I get Wingman activated on, he'll be that much better um, just because of his acceleration. Acceleration is important for defensemen more than it is other, other positions, in my opinion. So I'm loving this card so far. Then we've got John Carlson, one of the better values, in my opinion, for uh, defense. Yeah, I'm just waiting to get him up again. 40,000 coins is quite expensive. I do like Applesauce and Distributor. I think it's a really good combo. Not to mention Thunderclap is a, is a great zone ability, too. 88 speed on someone who's six foot three with a good shot. Yeah, sign me up. This is one of the better ones. Quinn Hughes, uh, one of the best non-X-Factor cards at launch of the game. 84 Quinn Hughes with 90 speed, mid-80 shooting. Uh, he's not big, so defensively it's kind of tough, but he's really good at getting back, and when you pair him with someone big, it, it works out quite well. Eric Carlson, man, I hope... He is just not good anymore. I, I It makes me so sad because I'm a Dire Sharks fan. I Hopefully by next year, another awful season he'll uh you know he'll be out of the the immediate buys early on in the game because the last like three seasons uh, eric carlson has been like the best card at launch and uh this doesn't change you know the game distributor he's got 89 speed it's a great low 80s card to go after early on again speed being able to get back um to combat some of these other like barzal and x-factor cards it's super valuable then i got thomas shabbat i will be upgrading him uh just have kind of a hole on defense there 
In net, I've been using Carey Price, and he's nothing crazy, guys. I don't do any of the X factors. I'm probably going to sell this Carey Price and go with somebody else. Goalies don't really matter. Just try and help out your synergies if you can. Other than that, there's like I said, there's really no reason uh, to go after him. But yeah, here is the squad. I'm liking it so far. I'm not going to lie, struggling offensively. I'm uh, I'm adjusting to the game. It's quite different than all the years past, but uh, it's been it's been really fun. I do really enjoy it. So guys, let me know what you think. And yeah, here. Lay, lay your questions on me, guys. It is uh, it is who should you choose season. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave me your comments on on questions that you're you know you're trying to get out there in terms of your team, especially with launch coming and what you should do. And join my Discord. We've got like two thousand people. All we're doing is talking hut. So if I'm not streaming or I'm not doing YouTube videos, I'm in my Discord. If you have any questions? Just go in there. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm excited to see your questions and comments. I'll see you guys tomorrow on who should you choose.